Welcome to the studio, Will Anderson. Now, Hi. Last time we spoke to you, you were just in Alaska or somewhere. Yeah, I've been all over the place, actually. It's been uh, it's pretty good fun. Yeah. Uh, it's been pretty crazy, yes. uh, some of the places. But I was just saying to you guys that it's the only place in the world where being an Australian and having an Australian accent is a real advantage. Like, so they love it, so don't they? Yeah, tell, tell to uh, me. Well, yeah, so like basically if you go to New Zealand, people hate you for yeah. the first 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like just on, on principle. Just, you walk on, yeah, yeah, they yeah, hate. Yeah, we had They're like, your jokes are good, but this is for the underarm incident. Yeah. <laughs> We still remember 1981, right? Yes, we shall remember. You go to yeah. England. I got booed once in Manchester during the Ashes before I got on stage. <laughs> before I got on stage. They said, our next act's from Australia. People just started, <laughs> boo! Wow. But when you're in America, people come up to me after the gig and they say, well, I could have listened to you all night. And I'm like, oh my God, I finally know what it's like to be Jamoan. <laughs> So while you're over in the Americas, yes. um, did you? Because one thing that shocked me over there was the food, like going right. in and out burger, the double doubles, how much cheese they got on there. How'd you eat Taco over there? Bell. Did, you, did you go you're, for some of those shocking? You're a vegetarian, aren't you? Yes, I am a vegetarian. Was there anything for you to was eat? Anything? The closest I was, I was in uh, Denver, Colorado, and all the comics and I went out to a big steaky steak restaurant <laughs> meal, and there was nothing on the menu. Like normally, I'm a pretty uh, non-fussy yeah. eater. Some bread, some chips, and whatever. I like yeah, it, I'm fine, just right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but there was nothing. The chips were dipped in duck fat. The bread was. <laughs> fried in blah 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 I finally like because I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of the other comedians so I finally like waved the waitress over and I'm just like excuse me do you have anything that doesn't have meat in it and she just looked at me like I had said excuse me I hate God and guns in America now lie down I'm going to tea bag yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah. She goes, there is some vegetarian stuff, but the chef does have to rub it on his balls. <laughs> we just like you need to, you have to taste some sort of meat. <laughs> and which is fine technically for me because that is still vegetarian. Right, hey, it's right, a good right, point. Right. <laughs> that is actually still technically vegetarian. Right. Can I just change the tempo for a second yeah. and go to Gruen that you've Please. been doing lately? It's dominating. From groins to Gruen. Yeah, I like absolutely. It. It's not a massive uh, leap. Been <laughs> the Will Anderson story from groins to Gruen. <laughs> we got a chance to catch up with Clive Palmer yesterday. Oh. And he blew us away with energy, and he was hilarious. You know what? And at the same time, yeah. he actually made a bit of sense to us. Have you guys been looking into him? I mean, it, it, here's the thing: this is this election in particular. I think is going to be a massive election yeah. for the protest vote. Yes, because people are so unhappy with both of the major That's parties. Right. The, so the, the options are, are not great, and I think that, and it's not on policy; it's on it's on it's the on leaders. It literally is. We're looking at Kevin Rudd, and we're looking at Tony Abbott, and we're going no, 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 no. Well, what, what I do? love, what I love the most about that is that they uh, they yes. Yesterday there was an article about how now Julia Gillard is more popular than Kevin Rudd again. <laughs> no! Can you believe it? And I'm like, it? clearly the thing that makes you less popular being the Labor leader is being the Labor, Labor leader. leader yes. So clearly Labor just have to get someone who isn't in the Labor Party <laughs> to be the leader and they can vote for them. I heard the other day that they might uh, there might be a situation if uh, Labor won and Kevin Rudd lost his seat, which I think would be the greatest <laughs> irony of all. <laughs> <laughs> when Julia Gillard could put up her hand and go, oh, I'll take I'm it now. Yes, I'm back. But, but right. Stephen Bradbury but I think that's why Clive's ringing true. He's one of the only people in Australia, apart from the b- bigger major parties, who's yep. running a candidate in every single seat. Yes. He may not pick up one seat at all. Who knows? But I think that this election, I mean, he's... He said some really amazing things The thing things I love about him is he speaks, like, really straight. Passionate. People, he's passionate about Australia. And I, I people mock him for the whole, oh, he's building, like, a Titanic. That's my favourite thing Jurassic about him. Park. <laughs> I just think he's a man who doesn't watch movies to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like, he's got this. This is a great movie about a boat. Let's build one. This is a great movie about dinosaurs. Let's make some. Oh, let's get that chick from the crying game over. She seems nice. <laughs> Maybe you should watch till the end, Clive. Just watch till the end. <laughs> You're going to scream right at the end of that one. Yeah. Well, the other thing about all those people that he's running in different uh, spots all around Australia, yeah. like I'm, uh, a guy, Des Head and I played footy with, he's right. up in the Kimberley, right? And I'm wondering, and Doug Hawkins, for instance. Yeah, right. My is, hero when I was growing up. What is he offering those guys to run for him? Because we, we were talking, we're right? Because Sean okay, goes, I said to Sean, what would it take for you to do this um, yeah. if he asked you to be a, a candidate and Sean goes oh, I don't know and I said well this would probably do it if you say okay mate I don't want to worry about my money so as long as you take care of my mortgage repayment <laughs> then I'll run for you because he's got enough money to make those promises well he has got enough money that's why when he sent out that DVD to everybody I thought he made a mistake he should have sent out a DVD and a free DVD player <laughs> 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 what are you going to watch <laughs> it we need an well, LED just... TV as well oh, oh, no, no, he send everyone 20 bucks right like, you don't want to just buy their vote. He's paying he for it. their campaigns, is my understanding of how the Clive Palmer thing works. So some of them, he's, he's basically said to them, if you want to
want to run, if you want to do this, I will pay for the entire campaign. Wow. Is, mm. is Every, what I'm hearing. That's fine. Everyone gets a yellow tie. Well, uh, Everyone gets right. a yellow tie. Yes, they do it. like their little yellow accessories, don't they? <laughs> but I love how, like, I mean, he's fun, Clyde. The, the, yes. one, the, the thing you've got to say to him about whatever else is he's fun. He's given this I election like a bit of... He's, like, an, he's an anti-politician. And right. what we were it's, saying as nice. well, Will, is um, he's a businessman and uh, the people that are in power aren't business people. No. So he could run this country like a business. Well, he's crunched the numbers with us. It sounded pretty legit. I don't know if we it is or not, but right. he sold us. We're like, yeah, yeah, buy that. He sung Save Tracy this. Chapman. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the favourite thing that he did at the end of the He sung Tracy Chapman. He's talking about a revolution. revolution. Clive. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lever.